Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Wally. I'm Ash Wally, and today we're going to be starting our Starbucks coffee series for the holidays. As you guys can see, I'm in my official barista at home uh, uniform, my coffee sweatshirt, and I'm ready to get started. So let's get started on our first drink. So when I decided I wanted to do this series, this Starbucks holiday remaking of their drink series, I did it because I used to be a Starbucks lover, but now I'm not. The drinks, the flavors, the names, they sound quite interesting, and I wanted to know if I could remake them at home. I promise to give my honest opinion. If I think I've made it better, I'll let you know, and if I think it's something that I can't do after I've tasted it, then I'll say, you know, head on over to Starbucks. But this is just in hopes that it gives you the opportunity to make these super tasty drinks at home. So the way that this is gonna work, I'm gonna head on over to Starbucks, I'm gonna buy one of their famous holiday drinks, I'm gonna taste test it, and then I'm gonna try to recreate it on my own. First up on the docket today, I've got my straw, is the Caramel Brulee Latte. So I asked the barista there, what is your most popular latte? And she said, hands down, it's this one. I can decide whether I want it to go hot or iced, but it's about two in the afternoon here, so I thought, iced might be a bit better. Uh, my whip is already starting to melt, but let's go ahead and taste this and see what we think. I'm gonna give it a little mix. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Let's see. I like the sprinkles that they put on top. They're like these little pop sugars that pop in your mouth. Hmm. But I think this should be pretty simple to recreate. It doesn't give strong coffee kick, so I think a pod actually like Bianco Leggero would be perfect for this drink. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like it. It reminds me a lot of their caramel macchiato, which used to be my favorite drink there. Let me grab my phone and let's see what it takes to make this. So according to Starbucks for a grande, 2% milk, uh, two shots of espresso, four pumps of their caramel brulee sauce, which she said is syrup, caramel brulee topping, whipped cream, and ice. So, huh. I guess I just have to figure out how to make a caramel brulee syrup of sorts, but I think I've got an idea. So, yeah, pretty good. Stay tuned for my iced caramel brulee latte. So guys, first up is our sugar concoction. We are gonna pour one cup of sugar into a saucepan, and the point of this is to melt it all the way down so I figured I actually didn't need a whole cup half of a cup would have been just fine for this recipe um, you can see the sugar is like halfway melted and now it's all brown and golden once it gets to this point you know that it is ready and you're gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat we're then gonna go ahead and pour it onto a white parchment paper so that we can allow it to cool nicely once you pour it onto that paper, we are then gonna go ahead and spread it on out with the, do you call this a spatula? I don't know what this is called, but yeah, you'll <laughs> spread it on out so it's nice and even. Now we're gonna leave it to cool. It has all cooled down to the touch, nice and glossy. I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking it apart so that we can have perfect little kind of glass-like chips for our caramel brulee latte. All right, so now on to the drink. For this one, we're gonna need salted caramel. Um, caramel would have been great, but I don't have that and I wasn't about to buy caramel just for this one recipe. So I love my Moon and salted caramel. It's super delicious and I think it will be perfect for this drink. Next up, 
I definitely tasted sweetness in this recipe and so I think that the French vanilla will definitely balance the caramel really nicely. These are the two we're going to be using. Of course, for milk, I'm going to use my 82% milk. It's my absolute favorite for iced lattes. Moving along, I will probably use some of the Tarani caramel drizzle just because I think it'll complement this drink nicely. And I'm going to use double espresso Chiaro. I changed my mind. I just think it's going to be really good with how sweet this drink I think it's going to be. So let's get to brewing. Guys, I'm so excited and happy with the way my coffee bar turned out. If you have not seen the makings of my coffee bar, I will link that video for you right here. Check it out. It was so much fun to do. Like, so, so much fun. Look at double espresso Chiaro brew. Can't wait. All right, so on to our milk. I'm gonna use six ounces of milk. So here we've got four, and then I'm gonna go ahead with my quarter cup and add another two ounce of milk. Next up, time to add our syrups. First, I added one tablespoon of the French vanilla syrup. There it goes. <laughs> Then I went ahead and added a tablespoon and a half of the salted caramel because obviously it's a caramel drink and I wanted the caramel to kind of shine through. We are going to go ahead and froth that on the cool setting. And after this, it's time to prepare our drink. I love this glass that I got from Crate and Barrel. I think it's so fun and festive with the little Christmas trees. I'll be sure to link this one down below for you guys. Of course, we're gonna top it off with some Ready Whip. I think I'm gonna do like a video on how to make whipped cream, but for now, this is what we're going with. <laughs> And I'm super, super excited to now add my, well, not quite time for my sugar, but little caramel sauce, but now my caramel brulee sugar flakes. It came out so nicely, guys, like just like the one at Starbucks. Tell me that doesn't look delish. I'm so excited to try this. Okay guys, so obviously it has taken me 1,000 years to make this drink because it's already um, dark outside and my camera's about to die. So let's go ahead and taste it real quick and see what we think. The uh, caramel brulee sugar that I made came out really good. Just giving this a mix. It's taste. I knew I tasted vanilla in there. There's definitely caramel, but the va the vanilla, you taste the sweetness, and I got it. It tastes exactly the same. Yeah, guys, it tastes exactly the same. Starbucks caramel brulee. Really, really good. You can taste the vanilla, the caramel, perfect combination. I like it. Who needs to go to Starbucks to get a caramel brulee when you can make one at home by yourself? <laughs> also, this glass from Crate and Barrel holds the perfect amount of coffee. I'll link it, got, I'll link it for you guys down below. I even was able to create my own like pop sugar. This turned out great. This was actually super easy guys and really delicious. 
I will link it down below for you guys, everything that you need for this recipe. My battery is about to die, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, guys, thank you always for hanging with me here on Maison Molly. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know which Starbucks holiday drink you'd like to see me make next. And I'll see you guys next time.